Good morning friends. Let us sing the song which is screened for you. For this morning's meditation, let us turn to Psalms 139 verses 1 to 3. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my down-sitting and my uprising. You understand my thought afar off. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Meditating on these verses, the first thing we see is about the importance of realizing that God searches us and knows everything about us. One of the biggest challenges in life is in maintaining different kinds of relationships, both personal and professional. There is always a danger of misunderstanding or half understanding in relationships which leads to scores of other problems, mostly issues of the mind. It is sometimes frustrating to see our close friends and relatives misunderstanding us. Sometimes we feel there is no one in this world who truly understands us. Sometimes we wish there was someone who truly knew us inside out. The verses we read tell us that we have a God who searches us and knows us. He understands our thoughts even when they are afar off. Our God is not only mighty but also gentle in knowing the intricacies of each person. 
how much God must love us to search us and know us every day. This realization will lead us to have an intimate relationship with God, which gives us the confidence that He knows everything about us, our strengths, our weaknesses, our joys, our pain, our fears and anxieties, our desires and our hope. This confidence in God was what drove many men and women of God in the Bible. The apostles did not carry a money bag with them wherever they went to preach the gospel, but their needs were met on time. Even if their needs were not met, they had the confidence that our Lord Jesus Christ knew and understood their suffering. They rejoiced and sang songs of praise when they were beaten and were incarcerated because they were happy about the fact that they were considered worthy enough to suffer for Christ's sake. Many a time we may feel that we have to search out God, but truth to tell, it was God who first searched us. It was God who came in search of Adam in the Garden of Eden. It was God who asked Adam, where are you? It was God who asked Jacob, what is your name, even before Moses wanted to know God's name. It was God who sent his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to search and save that which was lost. Once we realize that God is always searching us, looking to save us from our lost ways, all that we need to do is merely to turn to him. Secondly, when we come to know that God knows and understands everything about us, even our thoughts are far off, then there is no need to hide anything from God. Trying to hide things in our life can be quite laborious and tiresome for the spirit. It is a heavy burden that we carry around. It can result in enormous stress and can aggravate the already tired spirit and mind. Adam hid himself from God because of his disobedience and had to be expelled from the Garden of Eden. In Acts chapter 5, we see Ananias and Sapphira hiding the truth from God and facing eternal damnation. In Proverbs 28 verse 13, we read, He who conceals his sins will not prosper but whoever confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. If only Adam did not hide himself from God, or if Ananias and Sapphira did not hide the truth, God's mercy would have been on them a plenty, because he is a God who searches us and knows our every weakness and understands us. Being aware that God knows and understands us will help us confess our sins and confide in God. This can lead to a life with clean conscience. One man of God writes that a clean conscience is the best pillow one can sleep on. Finally, in God's search for our hearts, we can hear his gentle voice, the voice of a shepherd searching for his lost sheep, calling out in the ways. If we have to find God and be found by God, we must hear and obey the voice of God. Hearing his word is seeking him. Obeying his word is finding him. Proverbs chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 present a way to finding the knowledge of God. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom, and applying your heart to understanding. Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. God wants to search us and know us every day. If we seek his face, we will be found by him. If we can pray every day like the psalmist in Verses 23 
and 24 of chapter 139. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Then we can live a life free of fears, anxieties, doubts, questions, but set our hearts on things eternal. Let us pray. O oh, gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful morning and this opportunity to come together in your name. We thank you, Lord, for the word this morning, for assuring us that you know us and understand us. We ask, Lord, that your Spirit may search our hearts, try our thoughts, and lead us away from wickedness towards your everlasting light. Help us, Lord, to believe that you see us, that we are always before your eyes, so that we can find our confidence in you. Give us the ears that may hear your voice when you come searching for us, and the willing hearts to obey your commands. Take control of our thoughts, words, and deeds as we begin this day. We commit everything into thine holy hands. In the matchless name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.